Hello, hello, hello. There we go. We're on. How are we, everyone? There we go. Can you hear me? How are you, Jar Jar? And Bandit? I oh, know you're lurking in the background there. How are we all? <clears throat> so, I'm going to play Vampire for a little bit, and then I'm going to contemplate on what to play next, because I'm not too sure. Um, has anyone got any ridiculous, like, cool horror game suggestions or anything? Maybe The Forest, I could give The Forest a try. I think The Forest is only like 10 bucks at the moment, which is, uh, pretty good. Uh, throwing a few things up on uh, Facebook. Um, control copy. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, we're almost there, everyone. We're almost there. Out. This is how you make it in the real world. Ah, oh, I've got myself a big old can of Red Bull and two lemon lime cruises. Uh, going to have a few drinks, as per usual. Stop this feeling deep inside of me, girl. You just don't realize what you do to me. I have a dentist appointment at uh, three o'clock, then I've got to go to uh, Snow Hire and get um, snow gear, and then I'm off on my way for three days, people. So I won't be streaming. This is uh, my last day until I get back on Monday. And then I've got three days left and then I return back to work. So <laughs> I'm running out of running out of time. Running out of time. But I'll only be gone for a week this time around, so that's okay. That's not that's not as bad. Okay. <clears throat> Got a look from you, girl. I don't need no cure. I just stay a victim if I can't be sure. Oh, the good Lord. Better hell singers on bloody ah. Uh. Thank you. 
Oh, ultimate custom knight is bloody. You make you make it, dear. Oh, I see. I'm just gonna buy this for the sake of it. Because that'd be quite interesting to play the forest, I think. What else do I have on my list? I definitely played this one. I don't know. Does anyone remember me playing this one? No, I'm pretty sure I did. Spider Gwen. <laughs> Blockbuster Games. Big old Blockbuster Games are on sale, I see. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just going through the list of the potential potential um, video games because I didn't realize, I didn't realize there was a sale on so that's pretty good oh Blair Witch could be played in VR that would have been fucking sick I wish I did that Man, I play so many games now, I forget, I forget everything that I played. Oh, it seems a bit shit, doesn't it? What is death mark? Fucking hell, that looks interesting. Looks a little bit different, I like that. Okay, alright. Let's, um... Maybe it saves the world. Deliver us from Mars. Just deliver us from Mars. Uh. <clears throat> the 
forest. Kana, Bridge of Spirits. Cyber Warrior. Oh fuck, I really tried to play that game. That was a... not for me. Um... Enhanced Edition? I thought it already was an Enhanced Edition. Um, when does Hello Neighbor 2 come out? Oh, I love, I fucking love this game. This is one of the best games, man. Odd World Stranger's Wrath. I think I'll be doing a playthrough of that actually. <laughs> Song of Horror. Stilt looks pretty good. <coughs> wow, I have literally gone through everything. Oh, Commando. I fucking love this game. <clears throat> I think I got, I got it on my Switch anyway. Shadow Tactics. Oh, no. Forest is ready to go. Alright, well, it's, um... The park, I've already done that one as well. Wow, I have really gone through every fucking game, dude. This is insane. The Origin, Blind and Made. Looks kind of alright. What's this? Oh. What the fuck? What the f Sometimes, man, is it like a survival horror? A corrupt politician. <clears throat> First person shooter. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, so it's just like a horror survival game. Alright, I'm gonna add that to the list. <clears throat> That could be good, that could be good. Well, so this is why, this is why you check. This is why you have to go through these things and check. What is a child's sight? Oh, no, that looks terrible. all right sorry okay that's enough of that shit let's fucking play the pr
the fuck? Ooh, I don't know what the hell's going on there. Mm -mm. Fuck, I was gonna say, that was weird. from that Cadigan fellow. <laughs> this is so funny. And I think last summer's epidemic was different. I'm just making a, a thumbnail for because I'm gonna play the forest after this. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. It's taking me long enough to get going. Pippa Hawkins, you are in love evening, with someone Master else. Please. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Oh, I thought I fucking had the... Have you heard of any underhand dealings within the hospital? I don't have time for such nonsense, Doctor. I've work to do.
Blackmail is a serious matter, Nurse Hawkins. Everything is serious around here, Dr. Mm. Reed. Starting with patients who need me. Do you need medical help yourself, Nurse? I'm fine, really. I just need to sleep. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Perhaps I should have considered the offer from that Cadogan fellow. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I have some good news, Milton. What? The epidemic's over? I retrieved your wallet. With all the money and a certain picture. Well, yeah, Pippa Hawkins is my girl. <clears throat> so what? Is it the difference of skin color that bothers you? Not at all, Milton. Good. Please, take this money anyway. To remind you to keep your mouth shut. Not everybody's as broad-minded as you, <coughs> Dr. Reed. What's going on between you and Nurse Hawkins? Pippa's tired. Tired of all this shit. Tired of all those corpses piling up. She's as depressed as I am. You do realize you could both get fired. Hospital staff are not meant to have intimate relationships with one another. Come on, Dr. Reed. Do you know how many rules are broken in this hospital every day just to keep it running? There's nothing wrong with what we're doing. Goodbye, Milton. Goodbye, Milton. with no respect. What? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Did I get a fucking regular one? Yeah. Dr. Swansea is quite busy. And I need you to help me get acclimated. I have many questions. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You've picked the wrong fight. I'm Harriet Jones. Harriet Jones? Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Oh, better than any patient, nurse or doctor. I've seen so many violent. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. <clears throat> I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. But I swear one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. We'll start with Nurse Pippin. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. <clears throat> Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with our old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales.
No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. She's full of fanciful tales. Okay. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. If only there were more of them. Less resignation and more determination. I know I can count. <coughs> Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. Have you seen a strange man visiting any of the nurses here? I've never heard of such a thing, Doctor. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Is this supposed to be an hospital? A pig star would smell better. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss, it cut me good. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Is that all you think about? I'm the toughest bastard you'll ever meet, Dr. Reed. And I don't give a fuck what you think of me. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Oh, I guess revenge gives you balls. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. As long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart <sighs> comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, all oh, like that. What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. <coughs> Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in the hospital? Blackmail? That's not my style. Too risky. The black market, though. Now that's where the money is. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I can say for most folks. And who are you, then? I'm the leader of the Wet Boot Boys. 
One day, I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. How long do you think you can escape? I know this. We can't escape. I ain't. And who? I'm the... You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. Oh, I'm buttering this guy up. He's recovering at the moment. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. But I will eat you. Please, sir. I need help bad. What's going on? I'm Blight, sir. Newton Blight. I've lost my mate. I can't find him anywhere. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. Please, calm down and give me more details. Oswald and myself were both infantry, sir. We were en route for the hospital, but... Well, we had a disagreement. And Oswald ran off towards the canal. How long have you been searching for him? I, c I can't go there. Too many rats by the water. Fucking rats. Can't stand them since the war, sir. Can't stand them at all. Don't be ashamed, Mr. Blight. Many soldiers who survived the trenches suffer from musophobia. I'll see what I can do for your friend. <sighs> What can you tell me about yourself? I'm Oswald's best friend. We served in the same regiment, sir. We've taken care of each other since we came back from the front. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Oswald Thatcher. We survived the war together. Oswald is... nervous and quite fragile since we came back from the war. This is a dangerous part of town. What are you doing here? We were looking for the Pembroke Hospital. He... We both need help. <laughs> to get to How are you, VR man? Just need to feel better, sir. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Where was your friend the last time oh, you I saw know. him? He went down by the canal. He didn't want to go to the hospital. I think he went to the sewers on purpose. So I couldn't go after him. I have all the information I need for now. If I find anything out about your friend, I'll let you know as soon as I can. Thank you, Dr. Reed. I can't, I can't get in. Mm -mm. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good, thank you. Got, um, I won't be streaming all day, and then I've got to go to the dentist, and then I'm um, going to the snow, snow hire place, got to get some gear, then I'm going away for three days, so I won't be streaming for the next three days. But then when I get back, I have three more days off, and then I will be heading back to work, so yeah. 
What the hell? Is it down here or not? I cannot enter. Yeah, busy, busy few weeks here, but I'm going to, going to the snow uh, tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, and then when I get back, I'll have um, I'll have a little bit of time, a little bit more time, and then I head <clears throat> head back to work. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah, I have to see someone at the hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. Or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess. So I'm going to play this for about another another hour, and then um, I'm going to give the forest a try. Which I hear is a pretty cool survival game. So, um, are you going to stick around for a while, VR?
Oh, okay, no worries, man. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Just had to go to the toilet. I desperately needed to. Oh. Dun, 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 Here we go. This is gonna have a little bit going on. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. This man has been savagely attacked. Baby. Inconceivable.
fucking died. What the fuck? Hello, sir. Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please, take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. Okay, I I I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please, I need to get oh, out. Oswald. Mr. Thatcher, your friend Newton sent me to help you. Do you remember him? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Fuck! What sort of creature is this?
fuck. Oh, what the fuck? That thing's hectic. Let's go, baby. Oh, my God. 
Fuck, I almost had it. <sighs> All right, I know what to do. What's the objective? Uh, you just, you're a vampire and you gotta, you're trying to find the vampire who turned you into this. And there's a lot of, like, I can kill people, but the more people I kill, the more dangerous the city gets. But the more people, like, the citizens that you, that you sort of, um, that you take down, uh, they, they give you more, more stuff, but, you also don't want to do it. It's weird. It's good. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty, <coughs> pretty much, yeah. Yeah, pretty much like Undertale, I guess, yeah. I never played Undertale. I tried to, but I don't know. I killed him. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, we're gonna play this for another hour, and then we're gonna have a go of the forest. Which I'm keen, pretty keen on. Alright, so I need a treatment for migraine, a treatment for a headache, and a treatment for fatigue. Gotta make sure these people are nice, nice and healthy. Treatment for fatigue. Unknown recipe. Use it to cure us. Oh no. Oh no, I don't have it. Oh, here we go. Treatment for the cold, treatment for bronchitis, and treatment for pneumonia. Yeah, I'm a doctor. Yeah. <laughs> so we're trying to we're trying to keep up a Oh god, I got a shotgun. What the fuck? <clears throat> yeah, nice man, nice, very good. How's work? How's work? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, do I'm a doctor vampire, exactly. Um, yeah, I want to put the sword of shotgun in my hand. There we go. What's this one? Okay, let's do this. Wasn't bad? Very good, very good. Good to hear. Well, I'm getting keen. I'm getting excited because... Yeah. I'm keen to play the forest. Have any of you played that? Are you still at the training phase? Yeah, fair enough. Oh, well. Got to start somewhere. At least, at least you're getting into it now. It's good. I think I made... What, what medicine did I just make? Um, I got a treatment for a headache and treatment for fatigue. Who had the... He has fatigue. Alright, let's, let's try and find him wherever he is. Oh, doctors! There's Pippa, there's Doctor... Oh, I don't know this guy. Who's this guy? What are they up to? Let's talk to, let's talk to this one. Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I sure. could not dare to yeah, believe I'm not, I'm not, I'm not familiar with a shopping center Such either. An honor, well, I guess sir. I'm in Australia. I don't know where you are. Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Oh. Are you, my friend? Now, have you heard, have you heard any talk of blackmail? If you're running some official inquiry, you had better question the patients. They know more than the staff, especially old Miss Jones. Miss Jones, you say? You live in the state of Maine. Please, could oh, you okay. tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. Very well. Tell me about your experience. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't go. You're not the first one to warn me. But I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. That is true. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. Copy that. Well, I'll be glad to be of help. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. 
I'll be glad to help you if I can. This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones able to defeat it. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. As if you're not looking at this guy's eyes going, oh, what the fuck? What's going on here? Do you need my medical attention, dear colleague? You don't have to worry about me, Dr. Reed. I am here to assist you, not to be a burden. All right, fair enough. Uh, I've got, got a personal question about your blood Tell transfusion. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. Oh, are ya? I'm oh, awesome, your awesome. Blood transfusion technique could oh, well, I'll, I'll try and make sure that I can uh, be on there. To save him? Uh, oh, actually, sorry. On Friday, I'm going you. to the snow. I I'll be uh, but to save my I'll be uh, stoked it. Especially since I might, I know might not be able to uh, fit that one in, but I'll, if, if I can, I'll, uh, I'll pop in for a second. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones and flesh. Uh, okay. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. It's locked. Oh, it's open. What was going on in here, eh? What a sweet girl. What were you doing? Good evening, madam. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents. As oh, a awesome, bro. That's awesome. Good to hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try and I'll, I'll definitely try my best to Have you heard make a stream then, okay? Going on in this hospital. That's awesome, Dr. bro. Good work. Are you Good on trying you. to take advantage of me? Of course not, Mrs. Goswick. Oh, yes, I am. I'm just curious. Well, go be curious somewhere else, please. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. All right, so we did a... Uh... Have you heard rumors about Black... No. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. I'll let you get some rest then. Don't waste your time with me. All right, I'm ready to fucking battle this motherfucker. I'm gonna go battle that um I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. I don't think anyone's gonna really give a fuck about what happens to Clay Cox. Oh, so these guys know each other. That's why they put them next to each other. That's why. That's his son. They all know each other. These two are the patients. All right, I'm, I'm gonna kill Clay Cox. Hey, Doc.
<laughs> I'm gonna take him to a room. <laughs> Get him out of the way of everyone. I don't really give a fuck. I want, I want to be the. I want to be the hectic. The hectic vampire. Oh fuck! Where do I gonna take him? will soon suffer from the co my consequences. I don't give a fuck. Now I've, now I've, now I've killed two people. <laughs> That's alright. Alright, let's go kill let's go kill this werewolf now. I think I'm a bit I think I'm way more prepared for it. This feeling deep inside of me, you just don't realize what you do to me when you hold me. Suffer the puny human! Oh fuck. the woman you love or oh, suffer the little children let's fucking do this baby I'm ready Your death! Ready for this? Da 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 Jaja. Ja. 
Oh fuck! Here's what's left of him. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. <laughs> the fact that I got that makes me happy. <laughs> well, that's good then. If you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, wherever you're from, come see Dorothy to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius Petrus' house and present this coupon. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. Reach White Chapel. Must be going to a new location now. Oswald Thatcher has a headache. What the fuck are you doing, Oswald? Hey! I cannot enter. What the fuck are these two up to? I can't go in there. Are they going to do anything? Yeah, fuck it. I thought they were going to do something. Yeah, it does have it. It's got a few loading screens, but that's alright. Games are bound to do that. Ooh, the danger in this place is serious apparently oh fuck I haven't even spoken to any people here strong that one. Oh shit. We have ourselves a little bit of a predicament. Alright, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get to this white chapel thing and then I'm gonna end this game and we're gonna play the forest because I'm keen on playing the forest. And that's just the way it is. Mm -mm.
the same. So you reckon the hardest difficulty straight off, straight off the bat? Copy that. I can do that. Oh, wait, what? What the fuck is the point of this? I've got a feeling that they're not going to be too friendly. What do I have? Alerts? What do you mean alerts? Oh, for fuck's sake. Um, I think so. It should come up on the, it should come up on the screen. It 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 should come up on the screen that you that someone donated or um 
Yeah, it should all it should all come up. Is that what you mean? Wait a minute. Let me have a look. Oh wait, no, that's through OBS. Oh wait, no, is it? I do. It, haven't, haven't you guys seen that before? Dominoes and Fortnite. <laughs> Doritos, right. I'm a hundred percent I do because they've I've had them pop up before. I've had it pop up before. <sighs> Sorry, Charles. Uh, Charles, I'm just trying to figure that out. Oh, 100 bits! Oh, thank you! See, did that come up on the screen? It didn't. Fuck it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 it came up. Yo! Hey! Thank you very much, Charles. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Mm -mm. Very much appreciated, my friend. Whitechapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. Oh shit! I can't seem to run or anything. You're gonna get some late dinner, are ya? Are you alright? The bastard hit the wall next to me. I don't even know if he meant to miss. If you've been hurt, I can help you. I'm a doctor. Name's Albert. Remember it. Now bugger off. Yeah, they're good, eh? It's uh, it's it's real good. My mate, um... My mate... Sent to my mate got it for me. I'll um he sent me the website the other day. Or do I send it to you already? Exactly what he did, but this is the web. This is the web. Yeah, the item link. Yeah, I don't know. That's well. That's all he gave me.
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look in. I'll have to look into that a bit better for you. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know what he. I don't know what he exactly. Because he gave me the website, but it doesn't. It doesn't really show me shit. Mm -mm. Goodbye, young man. I'll not die in some piss stinking alley breaking worse than a bloody we joke to you, eh? Stinking drugs from the sick and suffering. What? Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened? I'm Dr. Reed. No. You don't seem well. I always feel. I don't really like this guy, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna kill him just yet. I will see you later. A gun, alcohol, and a bad <coughs> a terrible cocktail, sir. No, no worries, no worries. Of course. Help help as best I can. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. He's got bronchitis. Nobody at home. Well, how do I get over to him? That's just the way it is. It's locked, all right. There's nobody here. Got to be something I'm missing. I'm not too sure how to get back around to him. Alright, that's it. I'm going. Where's the save? Hideout. Let's go there. Oh, I'm going to save it and we're going to play the forest now. I'm keen on playing a little bit of the survival game. <clears throat> and we'll go, we'll go hard mode straight, straight off the bat. To go to bed, rest my weary little head. I'm a vampire. All right, here we go. 
Alrighty, here we go. Holy fuck, he's so vampire-y. <laughs> uh, tactical. Drain your stamina to fade into shadows and become invisible to most enemies. Moving in this state will drain more stamina. You can perform a supernatural move. Um, coagulation. Let's yeah, let's let's get some of the simple ones. We'll get this nice uh, claw thing going. Beautiful. All right, now we're looking. Now we're looking fucking sexy. Okay, <clears throat> alright guys, I'm going to quickly end the stream and then boot it straight back up again and we're going to play The Forest. Okay, see you guys in not very long.